Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. We're here to talk about how to determine a student's t-statistic for slope. Now, the formula itself can seem kind of complicated, but once you know the parts associated with them, you should be okay at the very end. So let me just write it out, and we'll talk about what each part means. So you first start out with x bar minus mu, and then you're going to divide by s over square root of n. So it seems a little complicated because you have subtraction in the numerator and then division in the denominator. Now, the x bar is the sample mean, okay? Whereas the mu refers to the population mean, okay? And statistics by now, I think you already have to determine the differences between these two definitions. Now, s is the sample standard deviation and then n is the number of units in that sample. Now all four of these are going to be numbers and so the idea here is plug in all four of these and then what I recommend is figure out the denominator first because it's going to be more complicated and then the numerator is going to be pretty simple and then just divide the two at the very very end. So as long as you follow the strategy you should be fine. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to calculate a student's t-statistic in slope.